this is a uh, you know kind of a message to new inventors and people you know coming out of school thinking that you know I'm gonna change the world and things like that or whatever you know when I came up with the measuring cup I was rather young freshly out of college kind of naive you know you have to you know you think okay well it's real easy to make an invention and, and it'll make it out in the market and it's almost you think oh it's gonna be doesn't take long, very short, almost instantaneous type of thing. In reality, the process that it takes to go to the market is probably like in the form of the measuring cup here. It's, it took like maybe three to four years to go from the idea stage all the way to on the shelf. Make sure that you, you take all the legal advice that you can up front because there are some, you know, some, you know, I'd say pitfalls and frustrating points that you could run into along the way. You could have your, your your ideas taken away, or or so on, you know, or or somebody else run off with it or knock it off. When you apply for a patent to get a a good uh, patent attorney, so that they go for you know everything that uh, the invention is or what you think it is, because if you don't do do everything right up front, you can kind of hurt yourself later on. Actually, holding the cup for the very first time, it was exhilarating. It was kind of a neat, neat thing to see it. The only thing that was a, you know, I say, I don't want to call it a downside, but in some ways it is. The cup was sold through my cousin's company, and the name of his company ends up on the on the label, as well as the the name of the design firm that worked on the cup. So it was somewhat disappointing that my name's not on the bottom of the cup, but in reality, when it comes to selling a product, you don't you don't really have someone's personal name on the cup. So I guess in hindsight, I wish maybe I should have uh, put like a cup, my own company name on the cup, but uh, it's one of those things that you learn as you, as you go along in life. Also within uh, you know, the past uh, couple years after the, the cup made it onto the marketplace, from time to time go online and, and read uh, people's product reviews from different web pages. And it was kind of neat to see different comments, you know, good and bad. But there was uh, one particular comment that stands out. An old lady who had arthritis and she could not use regular measuring cups. And so in some ways it made her disabled as far as being able to make, prepare her own food. In the review or the comment, uh, they made the statement that the cup now allowed this lady to be able to measure and prepare her meals again. So that kind of you know, made me you know, it makes you feel good that you're actually making a positive influence in the world. When uh, watching TV, you flip through the channels and uh, you'll come across a cooking show or two. You'll be watching it and always look to see if, it's, if the cup's there. Occasionally, you'll find a, uh, a cooking show where, sure enough, the, the people are using the cup like it's just a plain old tool that they've used all the time, but uh, just, just to see how far, the, you know, an idea will spread and, and, and travel around the world. You know, like a kitchen store or something like that and we'll just pop in there just to happen to see if they carry the cup and most of the times they do so it's another case of the cup is taking on a life of its own. Many people throughout the world are using it and it's, it's, it has a, a large influence.